So I finally got my hands on some Shilajit, which is supposedly one of the most hyped natural supplements in all of the natural supplement kind of space. Um, I have several powerhouse supplements that I absolutely love, and a lot of people will compare Shilajit to things like Boromist, the monoatomic gold, and things like that. And apparently Shilajit, from my understanding, is just kind of like a dark resin that occurs when the plant dies. It's supposed to contain tons of vitamins and minerals, similar to like, kind of like a rare mineral elixir or something that contains a lot of rare minerals that we don't usually see. Like I said, there's several people on Instagram that I follow who, you know, they just pretty much shine a flashlight on everything that is kind of going on with synthetic things in our stores and our foods, just everything. They really just put everything on blast and almost all of the natural influencers I've seen promote this Shilajit. So the kind of Shilajit I got comes in this pack. It comes in a language that I don't understand. And when I was looking on the Cosmic Nootropics website, apparently they only had like four in stock. So um, if you are interested in trying the brand that I tried. It may not be in stock, maybe they restocked, I'm not too sure, but I was able to find this same exact brand on other sites as well. So if you can't find it on Cosmic Nootropics, you should be able to find it on other sites, which is kind of rare for Cosmic Nootropics because usually they contain certain ingredients that you can only find on their website. As far as the effects on this, I pretty much canceled most of my other powerhouse supplements when I tried this one to see um, you know, how much of a benefit I got that I feel like it was replacing some of the benefits I got on my other supplements like colostrum or ormus. Did I feel like it was exceeding colostrum or ormus benefits in, in certain ways? I think you're supposed to take like one or two a day. It's not very much. I would say it's probably less than four a day and I would kind of heavy dose this stuff. Um, I tried it one pill. I would say my go-to was probably two to three pills, but there was times where but there was times where I would take lots of pills, like four or five, um, just to see if I felt like any sort of energy boost or um, clarity in my skin or any other health benefits. And to be honest, guys, noticed some benefits. It felt like I was taking a very, very good supplement. If I had some, I would probably keep taking it indefinitely. I would recommend that almost everybody try it if they're looking for some sort of a rare mineral elixir, because that's what it is. I felt like I got a lot of little benefits, but nothing really specific. There was nothing to where it was like, you know, I had an incredible brain boost. I had incredible energy. Yeah, I felt like my skin was better, but it wasn't like the best that I've ever seen from a supplement. My vitality was pretty good, but again, it wasn't the best that I've ever seen from a supplement. So um, I don't know if it was this version of Shilajit that typically if I was going to get some, I'd rather just get like a big glob of it and then just kind of take my dose from there. Um, this Shilajit is hard pressed, so it is um, just like hard pressed resin pills, essentially. And they are pretty sticky, like if you put about four or five of them in your hand, and you try to put them in your mouth like some of them will probably stick to your hand and some people were complaining that they taste really bad and that's kind of true but uh they're very small and if you could just get them down and swallow them get some water that's what she said um everything should be good and again the problem is that they're sticky so they'll stick to your hand and then you kind of maybe you have to like you know use your tooth to get it off your hand now you're tasting it more uh, maybe it'll stick to your tongue and things like that it doesn't have the best taste but knowing that it's going to be good for you i don't really mind the bad taste so um my experience with shilajit is that i actually got some really good effects i don't know if there's other brands that are better than this a lot of those natural people on instagram that i was talking about they promote a certain kind of shilajit that's supposed to be the only one that's clinically tested or like the best so maybe there's a better version out there i'm not too sure but i found that I had really good results on Shilajit, just nothing really um, mind-blowing or it didn't really um, fix a certain issue so much that I would have to recommend it for somebody having that issue or make me want to take it every day because it covers a specific issue. It was just an overall really good blanket supplement and I really enjoyed it. It just wasn't, it wasn't the highest best thing I've ever come across. I would recommend Oramis or Zeolite or Colostrum over this, but I found it to be a very good supplement and I liked it nonetheless. Have you guys tried Shilajit? What's your kind of go-to powerhouse supplement? I'll be very interested to see down below. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.